if you practice overcoming challenges, you start to believe I'm capable of taking on challenges and overcoming them, aka confidence. Go on an adventure, go on an adventure, go on. Hi, I'm Jesse Miles. If you liked that intro, check out the link in the description. It'll take you to my other YouTube channel where I've got my music videos around the world. So today I wanted to talk about confidence. I teach entrepreneurship and I talk about confidence being 50% of the equation. So much emphasis is placed on the information and the tools and the knowledge and all the things that school is about, you know, learning all of these things in school. But confidence is hugely undervalued and it's underpracticed and underdeveloped in education in general. Because confidence is what brings your knowledge and information and tools to life. Confidence gives it a voice, it gives it energy, it gives it drive. And without confidence, all of that knowledge and information and tools are, they either just sit there unused or they become available to someone else to use for a, for a wage. Confidence is developed. Confidence isn't something you're born with or born without. It's developed, and the way it's developed is by taking risks and overcoming challenges. As you take risks and overcome challenges, you prove to yourself that you're capable of overcoming challenges. And what confidence is, the belief that I can overcome challenges. Lacking confidence is the belief that I'm unable to overcome challenges. That's what lacking confidence is. And if you avoid challenges, if you actively avoid challenges by just not doing anything, ah, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna actively avoid challenges, pretty soon you start to believe that you're not capable of overcoming challenges. If you avoid challenges for long enough, for months or years, you start to believe that you're not capable of taking on challenges. And that's called lacking confidence. That's the definition of lacking confidence. The belief that I'm unable to overcome challenges. Whereas having confidence is the belief that I'm able to overcome challenges. I can take stuff on, I can take risks, and I can overcome whatever challenges present themselves because I've practiced it. Everything is practice. You become what you practice, right? And if you practice avoiding challenges, you start to believe you're not capable of overcoming challenges, AKA lacking confidence. If you practice overcoming challenges, you start to believe I'm capable of taking on challenges and overcoming them, AKA confidence. So as you take on challenges, you become more confident and it's so important to be confident because it is the cornerstone of leadership. It is the foundation of good leadership. People follow confident people. They need their leaders to be confident in themselves and in the idea. You're not gonna follow somebody who isn't confident in their own idea. I have this idea for a business. Oh, tell me about it. Well, it might work. I don't know. It might, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll probably go support someone else's vision that really believes it versus someone who's confident in their vision and passionate about it this is what we're doing. This is how we're gonna do it. This is why we're doing it. This is what we're doing. You're like, whoa, okay, sign me up. Yeah, I'm on board. You're confident. Confident in the idea and also confident in themselves. Not only can we do it like this and this is why we're doing it and how we're doing and what we're doing, but I can lead this thing. I have led other things and I'm capable of doing this. And I'll tell you about other challenges I've overcome to instill confidence in you to support me. Wow, okay, look at all those challenges they've overcome. This is the leader for the thing and they believe in the idea? I'm on board. That's why confidence is so key. Confidence is so key because it proves that you're the person for the mission or the action and that the mission and the action is necessary and important because you're confident in it and confident in yourself. And you became that way by taking risks and overcoming challenges. That's how you developed a belief that you can overcome challenges, by taking them on, 